On November 29, 1987, an aircraft exploded over the Andaman Sea in Myanmar, killing all 115 people on board. Long before the incident, North Korea selected operatives and prepared them with ease. Finally, in July 1984, North Korea's Kim Hyun Hee and Kim Seung Il, the criminals organized as a women's working group, received thorough craft education. From August 15, 1984, they traveled through Vienna to Frankfurt, Copenhagen, Geneva, and Paris for a month of local adaptation training. The bombing was carried out by North Korean leader Kim Jong-il on October 7, 1987, through the head of the investigation department of the Central Committee of the Workers' Party of North Korea. The criminals boarded Korean Air Flight 858 from Baghdad to Seoul on the night of November, 28 with time bombs disguised as Japanese Panasonic radio and liquid explosives disguised as bottles of alcohol. The criminals unloaded their time limit explosives on the 7B and 7C shelves, carrying only their cell phone at Abu Dhabi Airport. On November 29, 1987, a Korean Air 858 aircraft exploded over the Andaman Sea in Myanmar, killing all 115 people on board. On December 13, 15 days after the incident, seven floating objects, including a lifeboat for Korean Air aircraft whose air injection pump was damaged, were found in the southeastern sea of Angon, and it was finally confirmed that they were crashed by an explosion during the flight. The investigation was in mystery, but the investigation took a sharp turn when a newspaper reported that two Japanese people, who were concerned people, who were fortunately banned from entering South Korea, were on board the plane. Two North Korean agents were finally arrested at Bahrain Airport on December 1st. However, of the two operatives when they were arrested and investigated, Kim Seung Il swallowed poison at the scene, and Kim Hyun Hee was the only one who survived. With the arrest of Kim Hyun Hee, the South Korean government finally closed its investigation in Bahrain on December 7th of the same year, and on January 15, 1988, Kim Hyun Hee held a TV press conference and announced that he was the bomber of Korean Air Flight 858 and blew it up for the purpose of obstructing the 88 Olympics, causing chaos in the election atmosphere and triggering class struggles in South Korea. The international community strictly punished North Korea's anti-humanitarian act of bombing Korean Air 858, and it was an opportunity for the three countries, South Korea, the U.S., and Japan, to begin full-fledged sanctions against North Korea.